one time I kill a snail. I don't know how many of you have gotten high before off like weed, but I imagine that a lot of you probably have. Have you ever had like a really emotional moment for like no good reason when you're high? The things that would make normal people cry, that doesn't bother me at all. But every once in a while something just fucking weird happens and I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> What the fuck? One of these moments was when I moved to California with a couple of my buddies. We got this job out there. So all the people that worked in this company were living in the same apartment. It was kind of cool. And we were all like obsessive pot smokers and alcoholics, pretty much. I would stick my head out my uh, front door and look down the hall. Be like, dude, party? And on the other side of the hall would be, yeah, you. Everyone was always getting high and drunk all the time. So one night, uh, me and my friend Al decided to walk across the apartment complex to this guy's house and uh, we were going to have a party that night. So I went over there, got like really drunk, really super high. So we stayed over there for like three or four hours, played some Guitar Hero. I smoked a lot and I was pretty drunk also. And it was time to make our way back to our, our apartment. I didn't even want to leave. I just wanted to stay there and party all night. My friend Alan's like... Dude, it's time to go home. It's, we have to go home, dude. It's like 3 in the morning. We gotta go. We have to work in the morning. No, man. Just want to party more. God, there's like still stuff to do. We're playing Guitar Hero. Why you always gotta ruin everything? Dude. Come on, man. We've partied for too long already. We gotta go. We gotta go right now. Fine. Let's do it. Let's go home, dude. Let's go home. So we started our journey back to our apartment. It was probably like five to ten minute walk across the apartment complex. So we're walking, 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 just joking, being obnoxiously loud. I'm surprised that we didn't get, you know, some kind of authority figure called on us. But I was walking, walking, walking. In this apartment complex, there would be like little snails walking across the sidewalk. And like I noticed them many times before. But it seemed like there were just like a hundred of them all over the place. So I'm walking, walking, all happy, just giggling. Na 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 na. And all of a sudden, and I was like, No, dude. And I look at my friend Alan, and I'm like, I'm like, dude, what the fuck did I just do? What did I just do? Dude, you totally just fucking stepped on a snail. No! No, what the fuck did that snail ever do? I just fucking killed it for no reason. And I got on all fours and was like looking at the dead ass squished snail. Like a snail's usually like this big. That fucker was flat. And I'm like, no, man, I just killed it. And I'm crying my eyes out like, oh, that fucking snail. It never hurt anybody. It's just crawling back to his house. Oh, and I killed it. So. I had that friend with me and then, you know, a couple more people that were just making their way to their apartment. They stopped and watched me. They were all laughing pretty hard, but I did not think it was funny. So I look up and then I'm like, you fucking assholes, you don't care about life. I just killed this fucking snail and you don't even care, man. They thought it was hilarious. I don't really remember a lot of this. Well, I remember like little little snippets of it. The next day, one of my friends from like the next apartment comes over and he's like, Dude, last night I got this funny video of you, like, oh, crying and stuff when you stepped on a snail. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? So he pulls out his video camera and shows me this video. And it's me, like, on the ground for at least, like, ten minutes, just crying about this thing, like, I gotta find its mom! I gotta tell its mom that I killed it! <laughs> dude, you even saved the snail. You didn't want his parents to find him there squished on the ground. So I'm like... Dude, I would not fucking keep a squished snail that I killed. He's like, dude, you put it in a shoebox. I swear to God, I gave you that shoebox. And I'm like, okay. So I just forgot about it. Till I was cleaning my house like two weeks later and I came across a shoebox and I'm like, I don't have a pair of Reeboks. And I opened the shoebox and there on the shoe paper was pieces of snail shell. And then I just I had like, I was high at the moment when I found it too. And I'm like, dude. This is the snail that I killed. Holy shit.
There wasn't even a snail in that shell anymore. I like to think he escaped.